Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a physical drive to a virtual drive that you could then attach to a VM um, in Microsoft Hyper-V. So let's say you have a physical drive with a bunch of files on it and you just want to make a copy of that drive and use it as like a storage drive on your virtual machine. It's pretty simple to do, so I'm going to demonstrate this on my host computer here. So as you can see, i got my Hyper-V manager running. This is running on Windows 10 Pro and I have a virtual machine here. So if I go to its hard drive, you can see it's just the local disk C, and that's the virtual disk itself that was created with the virtual machine. And if I go to the settings here, and then go to the storage here, you can see I just have the one drive, the uh, original VH, VHDK, the X file that I created with the virtual machine. So to export this hard drive from this physical host computer here, I'm going to use a tool called Disk2VHD. It's made by SysInternals from Microsoft, so I'll put a link to that in the description. So I just run it, and then I browse to where I want to create it, and I give it a name. So I already have a one here from last time. I'm just going to put it in my Hyper-V folder, call it Win10. Click on save, and then I need to make sure I only check the drive I want to export. So I'm going to do my C drive here, have a larger D drive, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to export this. Make sure that's these two are checked. Click on create. And then this process takes a little time. So we'll pause the video, and then once this is complete, we'll be right back. Okay, so now we have our exported. Uh, VHDX file from this host computer here. Now it's a virtual hard drive, so I just need to go back into the settings for my VM, and then I want to go to the SCSI controller thing here, click on hard drive, click on add, browse to the location of it, and then just click on OK. And then if I go back to my Windows 10 VM here, you could see it already added it automatically. Now, since this one was already configured in Windows and you know made a, a proper volume and given a drive letter and formatted with NTFS and Windows, so it recognized it. So if it was like a you know unformatted disk, you'd probably have to go to disk management. Which we have a video on how to use disk management, and then it'd show up as a new disk and you could add it and create a volume and, and a partition and so on and give it a drive letter and format it. And now let's say, okay, so I can see here's my whole C drive right there. So now let's say I didn't want this on here anymore. All I'd have to do is go back to my settings here for this VM. Now you'll see I have two hard drives here. You've got to make sure you click the right one because you don't want to remove the original one that goes to the VM. So here's my newly added one. Click on remove. Okay. And if I go back here, it's gone. Simple as that. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description. So just export it, attach it, and you're good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.